Cinderella. Once upon a time, there lived a young girl with blue eyes and long blonde hair. She was the daughter of a rich merchant who loved him very much. When her mother died, her father decided that his daughter needed a good woman to educate her and take care of her. So his father remarried a middle-aged woman who already had two daughters. Unfortunately, her stepmother turned out to be very greedy and selfish, as well as her two daughters, namely the girl's half-brother. Because her father was busy working and had to be out of town often, the stepmother and her two half-sisters began to dominate the girl's house. The girl was forced to wear ugly and shabby clothes. She was also told to do all the household chores. Not only was her clothes ugly but her hair was also unkempt, so everyone started calling her, Cinderella. One day, the crown prince will have a big dance party. He invited all the young girls in his kingdom to come to his party, including Cinderella and her two stepsisters, of course. At Cinderella's house, her two stepsisters are busy doing big preparations. They rummaged through the cupboards, took out expensive clothes, various collections of jewelry, and nice bags were taken out and tried on. But as usual, nothing could make them happy. Without much complaining Cinderella tidied up and tidied up everything. Finally the long-awaited party night arrived. Her two stepsisters changed their appearance. They wore very beautiful clothes and a lot of jewelry. Cinderella felt very sad because she was not allowed to come. He just watched departure of his two half-sisters. He also wants to go to the dance. She also wanted to wear silk clothes and beautiful jewelry. Cinderella could no longer hold back her tears. She sobbed, so that the floor was filled with her tears. But when he raised his head, he saw a beautiful woman who turned out to be his fairy godmother. Why are you crying, little Cinderella? Do you also want to go to the dance? The elf woman asked her. The dance is not the right place for me, Cinderella replied sadly. We'll see. Bring me a pumpkin. With a touch of her magic wand, the woman turned the pumpkin into a beautiful carriage. He also turned four rats into horses and some lizards into charioteers in uniforms. Everything is ready, said her fairy godmother. You may go to the dance. But, dressed like this, asked Cinderella, pointing to her clothes which were shabby and some of them were torn. The fairy godmother sighed, that is true. With a lift of her magic wand, the shabby and torn clothes had suddenly changed into a splendid silk gown. Silk decorated with gold and gemstones, glass shoes, beautiful hair sparkling, Cinderella is very beautiful and elegant. She smiles happily. Now get on the train and off you go, said the fairy godmother. But remember that when the clock strikes 12 times, you must leave the ball immediately. At that moment, my spell will stop working. The coach will turn back into pumpkins, and the coachman will turn back into lizards. Then you will become the same Cinderella as before, dressed in shabby and torn clothes. The dance party was simply amazing. Everyone greatly admired the unknown princess and the prince kept on dancing with her all night long. Cinderella's heart was very happy and happy. Then the wall clock struck 12 times. Cinderella gasped. Without wasting any time, she
she immediately ran out of there. The prince tried to catch up with her, but Cinderella ran very fast, so the prince could not catch up with her. Because she was in a hurry, without realizing it, one of Cinderella's glass slippers slipped off, as she ran down the palace steps. In the palace, the prince was very sad. He wanted to find the beautiful girl. The next day the kingdom made an announcement that all young girls had to try on the glass slipper, and the prince promised to marry whoever the girl whose foot fits the glass slipper. The palace officials as well as the prince had started a search. But none of the young girls fit the glass slipper on their feet. Finally the prince arrived at the merchant's house, and Cinderella's two stepsisters tried the glass slipper. But in vain, because the glass slipper was so small, they couldn't even put their toes in it. Prince increasingly sad and discouraged. They were about to leave, when they realized that there was still a girl dressed in shabby clothes busy at the back of the house. Who are you? asked the prince. Oh, she's just a maid, replied her stepmother. But the prince looked into Cinderella's eyes, and he felt as if he had known her before. Then the prince told Cinderella to sit down and put on the glass slipper. The glass slipper fits her foot perfectly. And of course Cinderella also has a pair of glass slipper. The prince was very happy and immediately proposed to Cinderella to be his wife. The wedding ceremony was immediately carried out with great fanfare and awesomeness. They are both very happy. And what happened to the stepmother and her two stepsisters? The prince wanted to punish them for their actions, but Cinderella had forgiven them. They were also invited to the wedding. And not long after, the two half-sisters who had changed their nature married two noble knights of the kingdom. Her stepmother also realized her mistake and turned into a kind and gentle woman to everyone. So this story ends with the most beautiful incantation of all spells. They live happily ever after. Hope it is useful, thank you.